Hello and welcome to the first part of inequalities. Let's discuss some really important aspects from inequalities which will be important from CAT's standpoint. First, we'll be discussing today Cauchy's inequality. I'm pretty sure you can note it a1 into b1 plus a2 into b2 so on and so forth square is less than equal to a1 square plus a2 square. Let's try and apply this in a few questions. Here we have a square plus b square plus c square is equal to p square plus q square plus r square is equal to 101. If you see here a square plus b square plus c square into p square plus q square plus r square must be greater than equal to product and then sum and squaring. So a b plus bq plus cr square, right? That is what Cauchy's inequality is all about. We know this value is 101. We know this value is 101. This must be less than equal to 101 because if you take a square root, very, very simply answer option two is correct. ap plus bq plus cr is less than 101. 15x plus 20y is equal to 375. Now, have a look at this. We can say that 15x plus 20y square must be less than or equal to 15 square plus 20 square into x square plus y square. Now this is nothing but 375. So 375 square is less than or equal to 15 square plus 20 square is nothing but 25 square into x square plus y square. This comes in here. We have to find out min max minimum value of root over x square plus y square. So if I take root, this becomes 375, 25. This is one times and five times. So the minimum value here is 15. Another very, very important inequality from CAT standpoint is AMGM inequality, which is arithmetic mean and geometric mean. So for let's say two numbers, A plus B by two is greater than or equal to root over AB. So arithmetic mean must be greater than or equal to geometric mean. So A plus B plus C is equal to five. Find maximum value of A square B C square. To do this, we'll have to split the numbers accordingly. I have to get a square. So what I can do, I can split it as a by two plus a by two. I have to get b, so I'll let it be. I have to get c square, so I'll again split it into c by two and c by two. You will realize why am I doing this. So now there are five units. So arithmetic mean will be divided by five. What will be geometric mean? Basically multiplication of everything raised to the power one by five, right? So a by two into a by two is a square by four into b into c square by 4. You see the magic here, right? I have got a square b c square. That is the reason why I had split it into a by 2 a by 2 b and c by 2 c by 2. This is nothing but a plus b plus c. So that is 5. 5 upon 5 becomes 1. So a square b c square raised to the power 1 by 5 less than equal to 16 raised to the power 1 by 5. So a square b c square less than equal to 16. I hope this is clear to you. So what's the maximum value here? 16, right? With that, we come to the end of this. See you all again tomorrow with the second part of inequalities. Don't miss out. Stay tuned. God bless you all. Bye-bye.